What's up, everybody? It is Night of Woo. We have got more Pokemon trade and card game online. Uh, if you watched the last episode, it didn't go so well. Our normal deck hit a bit of a snag. Still don't know why we accidentally picked that Shocker deck the last the other time. Um, let me see what all I've got. I know we've got this Steam deck, but I can't remember what all's in it. Oh yeah, it's basically... Oh, that was a good deck. Why did I stop using that one? I think I just got tired of it. Um, you know what? Let's bring it on out. Let us bring it on out and see if it's got some value to it. I think this is the one that we fought in those tournaments with. Or did we use Cold Hard Facts? It might have been this one. Because I remember playing uh, the black and white Kyurum combination a lot. Is that chocolate? I can't answer that for you. I know it's a weird facial hair combination, but... Yes. Okay. Poliwag. Froki. Skyla. EXP share. Narration. Comedy. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing either. Okay. I would like Poliwhirl as soon as possible if I'm going to use Poliwag's my starter. I mean, I'd like Greninja just as much, but... You know, you can't always get what you want, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. One of our first Sun and Moons. We got Cosmog out. That's a cute little Pokemon. I like Cosmog. Or should I say Nebby? Nebby. It's Nebby, not Nepi. Sorry. Nebby, like Nebula. While I haven't played uh, Sun and Moon yet, I do know some of it. And that's only because I've been watching some Let's Plays and playthroughs. It's a pretty interesting game, and I think it's added a lot to the franchise. I didn't know how to feel about it at first, but I'm being optimistic. Get a trainer card that's not you. Um, oh, so much goodness. Ah, um, oh man, that's good for basic Pokemon, but I would much rather have a couple... I need more than one dive ball is my problem. I could just do it with Professor Birch and see if I get seven, or I can get Bridget and just guarantee that I'll get some Pokemon. Man, damn. You know what? Let's get Bridget out here and go ahead and set up, maybe set up my Glaceon. Oh yeah, that was technically my trainer card just then. Damn it. Okay. I guess I'll put a water energy on you. I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do, but I'm doing it. Okay, since I'm totally not in the know as much as I should be, I don't even know if uh, Cosmog has an evolution. I think it does, but I don't know that. Does it have one? I really can't. I, I, I don't know. Man, I am a terrible Pokemon player. At least when it comes to being knowledgeable. Oh, oh, yep, that answered my question right there. Cosmoem. Cosmoem. Switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. Okay, that what that's telling me is if I don't hit this thing in one shot, I'm not killing it. So I'm going to need something big to come out here. Also, thanks for totally getting rid of my Bridget wasn't going to use her or anything. Walrian, Rapidash, those are both nice, but I mean, I can't really evolve anything right now. Walrian would be a good setup. But yeah, there's nothing to evolve. I can't say, man. Can't say. And I don't know if Lysander's going to be a big help since uh, this Pokemon's entire thing is the fact that it teleports. Huh. Ooh. Sorry, guys, as I'm recording this, it's actually starting to get a bit late. The only time I can find time to record is at night. I am running ragged. I've got like 30 million things that I've just got to be doing. But again, like I said in the last episode, I'm not going to let that be too hard on my videos as best as I can 
because I really like making these YouTube videos. They make me happy. And as long as you guys like watching them, then that's good for me. I'm not in it for the money, that's to be sure, because right now I'm pulling in a whopping not even a nickel. <laughs> it's just, you know, my entire reason for making a YouTube channel is probably just because I know what it's like when I was younger, and I would watch, I would be really stressed out and be watching, like, these big Let's Players, and, oh my god, is that thing just going to, like, it's just going to keep evolving and then, like, transporting back and forth. Please don't tell me that's what this is. Anyway. Um. Yeah, I would watch these YouTubers play through these games and just have so much fun. Oh, oh my god, I know where this is going. Uh, good thing I have, uh, Regis in this one. Anyway. Oh, definitely good. I'm glad I have him in this one. But I would just watch them play these games, and they would have so much fun, and it would feel like I'm having fun with them, and I'm just enjoying the experience. I'm part of the gang. And you know what? I just thought, you know what? Pay it forward. I really want to do that for somebody else. I want somebody to watch this video. Maybe not this video, because I'm losing my ass off presently, but maybe a different video. But I just want them to watch the video and be like, wow, I did not know it evolved to that. Okay, then. I, I don't know. Oh, knock out one of your opponents. Oh, my. Oh, this is going to be bad. Anyway. <laughs> I just really hope you guys have a good time watching. Because I just feel like... I don't know. I want to help you guys have a nice time in life. There's enough people out there trying to make your life worse or terrible, or stressful, or just unnecessarily complicated. And I just want to help be that one person that says, you know what, you got this. Let's just take ten minutes from your problems. They'll be there when you get back. And let's just have a little fun. That's what's always got me through. What in the world is it doing? Oh, it can move energy from its Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, Poliwag, it's going to take you a long time to kill this monster. And it's a GX, not an EX. I technically don't know what the GXs mean, if I'm being true. <sighs> I keep looking like it's just going to change back into that thing. Or that thing, for that matter. But it's not. Not yet. I'm getting very, very terrible cards. Of which I can do nothing with. I need some damn Pokemon to work with. Hmm. Even this Rapidash, if I could get a Ponyta, would be kind of nice, because... I could maybe start whittling down on Cosmog over here. It looks like they're not doing the best job ever either. They're having a bit of difficulty. You know what, N, I kind of welcome you right now. Because you're not discarding my hand, you're just changing it. And I need Pokemon, man. I need them. Okay, a little bit of a good thing, because now I have a Frogadier. The problem with that is that does me no good. Frogadier does me no good, because now all I can do is just get more Frogadiers. And I'm about to die, probably, so that's something, too. Oh, oh, there we go. They were just letting them hang on to those. Moongeist Beam, probably. Oh, man. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I'm about to eat it in a big way. Come on, fuck him up. Just get him. Don't keep me in suspense, man. What is it with these players I've been fighting recently that all have the damn shaman? 
That is one of the most broken cards. Ugh. Okay. Wish I had another frog and deer that was actually good and didn't just du duplicate. Oh, I just thought of it. He can put them straight on your bench and not necessarily in your hand. Don't know why I never put two and two together like that before, but, you know, that's good. It's just I don't really have many copies of him. Okay, Sfeel, you're our last hope, I'm not going to lie. And what a hope you are. That was a mistake. But all mistakes still happen, so we're going to go with Haluja? No. We're going with Cosmog. Then we're going with that. Then we're going with that. Oh, there's my Reg Ice. Man, I need you. You really can't do much against Pokemon GX, but you can do something against this Mewtwo and the Shaman. And that would be very welcome. Hello, Skyla. I just used you a few minutes ago. I wonder if you recognize me. It's Knight of Woo, the guy on the opposite side of the table who used you. Not the guy who has this big fucking Lunala. Ugh. The Hall Lucha looks so corny in that, anim in that, uh, what am I trying to say? In that, um, picture. I'm trying to think of what he looks like. I mean, obviously, he looks like a lucha wrestler, a luchador, because that's kind of the whole joke, but it looks like he's, it looks like he's just wearing one of those, like, trench coats you could just rip open at any point in time, and he's just, like, completely trying to flash the world from on a mountaintop. He's like, look, world, look at my hawk penis. Is it just me, or is it taking him, like, so long to transfer those energies? Ah. <sighs> Man. Some bad luck these past two episodes. <clears throat> bad luck. Alright, um... Oh, we've got our Celio. If we can... Freeze him for one turn and then possibly get up to Walrian. Something might happen. Ooh. Freeze. Pop. Nope. Never such luck. Alright, man. Put me out of my misery. Just do it. Uh. Yeah. Just. Just. Fuck me up, fam. There we go. That'll do it. Okay. So. What have we learned? We learned that this has been a bit of a bitch. The new cards are not bad at all. They're actually pretty decent. Ah, okay, I I said I'm not going to, like, bash all over the new designs of the Pokemon, but I really don't see why the Eradicate and Rata Rattata thing were, like, really necessary of all the Pokemon to be given updates. Jesus, man. I mean, he's got Wilfred Brimley cheeks. That's not necessary. Okay. Oh. Bag I mean, Bennett. Oh, I'm losing my touch. He's a third gen. That's my favorite gen. I should know that. Bennett. Okay. Falling down off the trees. Also, if you're wondering why I'm just randomly commenting about the different Pokemon cards I have, it's because I'm so... I'm enough... I'm far enough into an episode, I don't think we should start another game this time. But I just wanted to go back and take stock of everything that I have, because I'm going to need some Sun and Moon cards fast if I'm going to have any hope of coming back and standing a shot. I mean, standing a chance. I still haven't been able to use this Blaziken to its full advantage. That Bufflin good, though. That Bufflin looks a lot more angry. Let's see. Oh, cute Bulbasaur. Looks like he's in a candle shop. Uh, Cacturn. 
Caterpie. Original artwork, Caterpie. Caterpie. Oh my god, can I be a Pokemon that has the, the uh, move nap? Nap and gnaw on things. That's basically all I do in real life. Wait, did I tag it for review? What does that mean? I thought I was just going to, like, type something. I don't know. Cherubi. What in the world? Part of some, like... It's like the wind nation. The grass nation. The village hidden in the leaves. I don't know, Cherubi. What are you? Who are you working with? Clefable. Clefairy. I still got child molester. Hypno over here. Oh, I'm just... There's a lot of connotation to this card that bothers me. It's dark. There's a lot of green and red here. So in there around the rim of Hypno. So it makes it look like there's a thicket. So it's like they're in the middle of the woods. There's graves around with Japanese symbols. And Clefairy's hypnotized. That is just the makings of some type of graveyard molestation if I've ever seen it. Okay, given that I'm only... Oh, he's asleep on wood. Anyway... Given that I'm only to the C's, oh, now the D's, I should probably just go ahead and end this episode, or else I could be talking for a while, and I'll just save that for the next episode. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye take care, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think of the episode. Sorry, completely brain sharded. That's when you go past a brain fart and just completely mess yourself internally. My insides are upset. Anyway, have a good day, and I'll let Esper tell you bye. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this episode. Ooh.